barrier poll tests. Now back to the KQ Morning Show with Jason Manning and Scott Savage. The whole thing about doing it, Lewis, the place is evil. Sometimes that is better. The KQ Morning Show with Jason and Scott, 95 KQDS. It is 842 at Classic Rock KQ. KQ Morning Show, Jason Manning, Scott Savage over there in Studio B. Good morning. KQ Morning Show is brought to you by Beneford Roush at 3022 Tower Avenue in Superior. A couple of quick things here to fill. We have to fill a couple of moments till Vanna White here about 850 or so. Uh, we start with this one since we're on kind of the game show theme for the next few minutes. Uh, there was a contestant, a contestant on Jeopardy last night who said she was a fan of nerd core hip hop. And Alex Trebek showed her no mercy. Susan Cole is from Bowie, Maryland, and her favorite type of music is something I've never heard of, but it doesn't sound like fun. I think it's very fun. It's called Nerdcore Hip Hop. It's Nerdcore Hip Hop. Yes. Um, it's uh, people who identify as nerdy, rapping about the things they love, video games, science fiction, having a hard time meeting romantic partners, you know. <laughs> it's really catchy and fun. Losers, in other words. Well, oh. <laughs> oh, man. I sure. I te- no, I'm teasing you. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> Alex was just saying one liner, though. Bam. everybody else was thinking. So, <laughs> Alex, getting to the point in his career, he just doesn't care anymore. Well, yeah, get up to that age, you're a lot. Yeah, they just, it, it just comes out without the filter. Vanna White coming up in just a couple of moments. Marshall Tucker Band at KQ. It is 849 at Classic Rock KQ, the Marshall Tucker Band. You're listening to the KQ Morning Show. Jason Manning and Scott Savage over there in Studio B. Good morning. You ready? You all I'm set? ready. Here we go. <laughs> Taylor and Danelle. Wood burning microwave. Oh! <laughs> so close. In the wheel. I'll solve the puzzle. Go ahead. I have the wine by Johnny Cash. <laughs> that is not correct. I'm sorry. Yeah. Four L's. Pick that up. Turn it over. Lay it down right over that London trip down there. Come on. I saw. Oh, yes. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Mythological hero Achilles. What? Uh, no. What? <laughs> we are very pleased. All the fun. To be joined this morning, all the way from Los Angeles, Vanna White, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Vanna. Good morning. How are you? I'm wonderful, and you? Wonderful. Thank you very much. A good day to be alive. And uh, you are calling us. We're going to talk about Wheel of Fortune uh, Puzzle Pop, the new mobile game, in just a second, the Wheel Pop. And uh, I've talked to a couple of people that have actually downloaded it, and they say it's about as addictive as it gets. Uh, we would be remiss, obviously, if we didn't talk a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes out there in Culver City. Now, how many shows, we were wondering this earlier, how many shows do you tape per day? Six. You do six of them per day, and do you do that five days a week, so you just have a month's worth in the bank? No, we only do it four days a month. Oh. Oh, my goodness. It's long days. Has, has yeah. it, well, I believe it is a long day. Uh, has anybody ever said you have the greatest gig in the world? All the time, and mm-hmm. I'll be the first to admit that. So what was the audition process like back in the, the 80s or so? It was the 80s, right? It was. It was. It was in 82, and I basically did what I do today. I come, I came out, I turned the letters, and talked to Pat, and that was pretty much my audition. And um, after, it, after it was all over, I got the job of, of, against 200 other young women, and I, I said, Merv, why did you pick me? He said, because you turned the letters better than anyone else. Well, and there you go. There you go. So then did you uh, get to work one day when the, you didn't have to actually turn the letters anymore and you just had to touch the letters and you thought to myself, somehow the job just got even better? It's true. I said, is there any way you can make my job easier? <laughs> so in 19, no, I didn't really do that. But in 1997, they switched over to touching the, for me touching the letters because they computerized the game. It saved... It saved a couple of hours in the uh, production, you know, instead of manually changing every letter for every round, they turned it to a computer. We're speaking with Vanna White from Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Vanna, do you and Pat ever argue? Say, talk about having work marriages, uh, things like that. Because Scotty, he's my work husband over here to my left. Uh, do you and Pat are probably, your, you know, that's your work husband. Do you guys ever have arguments? 
the only argument we've ever had was putting ketchup on a hot dog. Really? I say yes, and he says no. No. Wow. I've got to be, I, I go with Pat on that, I'm sorry. Yeah, same here. Mustard, I yeah, but ketchup, absolutely not. You I were, understand. Yeah. <laughs> you work in what Utopia. What did I say? You work in Utopia, don't you? It's the greatest job in the world. It is. It really is. I've been doing it for 34 years, and I want to thank all of our loyal viewers out there that watch and enjoy our show. We would not be here without you. So thank you. So let's talk about this brand new mobile app available, uh, Google Play, and for iOS. It's called uh, Wheel Pop, correct? Yes, Wheel Fortune Puzzle Pop. And you can go to Facebook today or just go to wheelpop.com and find it on Facebook for free. And well, it's a wonderful game. If you like playing Wheel of Fortune, you'll love playing this. What you do is you pop bubbles with matching colors to solve the puzzle. And I help you pop those bubbles. You just tell me where to aim, and, and we'll pop those bubbles and solve those puzzles and have a great time. It's my understanding you worked your cat Stella into the game as well. Of course I did. <laughs> she got left out. I had to include her. Now, getting back uh, to the wheel real quick, if you remember the 80s, and we all do, um, I watched the show quite a bit when I was a kid, especially with my grandma. It was just one of our things. And you would come out sometimes with these gowns and these and the hair, and my grandma would always comment on it. Uh, did you ever just look at wardrobe and say, you're expecting me to wear this for the show and refuse to? Well, yes, there has been those times, but... What happens now is the designers send about 40 gowns, so I have a choice. And we pick usually the top 12 that, that we like out of those dresses. And I'll tell you, I don't like all of those necessarily, you know, but it might be too uncomfortable. It might be tight and, or off the shoulder and just hard to wear. or I, it, They're not my favorite, but I, I've worn over 6,500 gowns, so I can't be that picky. Never how, the same one twice. How well do you remember Vanna Mania? Because Vanna Mania was a living, breathing thing in the 80s. You were doing um, uh, t movies. You were all over the place. Just think if you would had the Internet back then, forget about it. You would have been the Kim Kardashian of the 80s is what you would have been, <laughs> except for the, uh, the all the other stuff that goes along with it. Right. No, it, it was crazy, absolutely crazy. And, I, and I'm very happy about uh, my job on the show and Vanna Mania, because growing up with an, an unusual name, Vanna, everyone always pronounced it incorrectly. And it's nice to know today that everyone knows me as Vanna. I got one for you. I love watching the show, by the way, Vanna. Do you Thank ever get you. to the point where you got to kind of hold back a little bit of the anger when you're taping? When you get some of these folks and they spin the wheel and they decide that they, this is my pet peeve. This is my pet peeve. When they know, let's say the vowel is an I, but yet they're going to go, I like to buy a vowel. And I'm like, that's my pet peeve is when they're buying these vowels and they know what the vowel is and they still ask for it anyway. Do you kind of just cringe a little bit? Because that's my pet peeve and maybe, I don't know. What do you think? Let me help you with this. Right. I think... Buying vowels is the most important thing. If you become a contestant on our show, I always tell them, buy vowels. And even if you know it or don't know it, there might be another one in, in the puzzle that is somewhere else that you don't know, and it helps you solve it. Yeah, but and you're wasting money. Poor contestants, <laughs> well, you're not wasting money. And, by the way, vowels are still only $250. We haven't increased the value of that. Oh, well, you got a point so, there, I guess, yeah. So for $250 and you being able to solve the puzzle when you have $10,000 in front of you is worth the $250. Don't you, right? when, a, when a contestant says wood-burning microwave, don't you just want to <laughs> come off the stage <laughs> and, and just gracefully walk over there and, and, not that you would because you're obviously a very nice person, but just give them a smack across the chops. I, I would. I feel so bad when they <laughs> get it wrong. I really do because these poor contestants are under so much pressure and I know... If they were at home in their living room, that wouldn't happen. But with 300 people in the audience and six cameras and all the stuff going on around you, you just kind of forget. They're out of their element, and they just, you know, I, I feel bad. I do. Um, but then there's been some amazing solves with one letter. So well, it's a whole thing. That's what makes it a game. Vanna White has been our guest, the Wheel of Fortune Puzzle Pop. It is available Google Play. And for your Apple, go to the um, the App Store via Apple to check it out. And people can check it out for free right now, can't they? 
They sure can. Go to Facebook. Uh, you can just go to wheelpop.com and uh, click on Facebook, and you'll, you'll, you can play the game. Perfect. From Wheel of Fortune, Vanna White. Thank you, Vanna. Thank you. Yep, take care. There she goes. She's uh, obviously a very, very nice person. Absolutely. Yeah, she sure. Like she's a very sweet Patience girl. of a saint. If you had that job, though, what would you have to be stressed about? It's kind of like the, the Brian Regan butterfly pavilion bit. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of the same thing, yeah. It's 58 Sports next to KQ. Look at that weather forecast for today. Party cloudy skies and a high of 52 tonight.